Connor, wearing the white glitter shorts trimmed with blue. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled nine stone, three pounds, six ounces. His excellent record reads 36 contests, 31 wins. 21 of those wins coming by way of knockouts with only five defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the former Super Featherweight Champion of Europe, presenting from Toulon, France, via his homeland of Armenia, Leva Kirokosian. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the red spangle shorts trimmed with white. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled nine stone, three pounds. His outstanding record reads 33 contests, 27 wins. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout, only five defeats and one draw. He comes to the ring this evening as the former English lightweight champion, presenting from Stoke, Scott Lawton. Referee with his final instructions, 12. Three minute rounds. As I told you in the dressing room, a good and clean fight, no holding, go back after break. Okay, good luck for both of you. So, an enormous leap in levels for the 33 year old Scott Lawton. Brave challenges for the British and Commonwealth titles have ended in heartbreak. Now, he finds himself in European class against this proven fighter. On top form, you'd have to fancy Labour Kirikosian here. But what has he got left? It's been a tough decade in the sport. Level-wise, a big golf, but is the timing an advantage for Lawton? Now, Lawton certainly has the style to give Kirikosian all sorts of problems because he uses his height and his reach, his good movement. But uh, I think the lack of punching power as you move up through the levels is a big problem. Right hand in the opening, 40 seconds, down goes Lawton, he's badly hurt, he was floored by John Murray in the same fashion, but that was heavy. Well, it just shows he still retains the speed, kind of caution, didn't even see it coming. Can Lawton recover? He's got two minutes just to get through this first round. He's worked so hard for the opportunity, but he still seems in a daze. I mean, what a da disaster. A man who's coming in looking to gain confidence, and that happens. Last thing he needs, he should be spoiling. He's getting his head clear, although there's some punches in his own punches there, so maybe the head's clear, maybe it wasn't as damaging a knockdown as it first looked but it certainly looked like a heavy one. Kirikosian stalking. He blew away Carl Johansson first time around in one. Nice shot back there from Lawton, trying to keep his gloves up. He's a predator, OK, Kirikosian. I mean, you can see the power in either hand, how he sets himself. He's tested Lawton's power. He's looked at his record, so he knows he can just take the bull by the horns. He'll just sail right in and go for the finish, that's what he's doing. This has been good stuff from Lawton since the lockdown, he has his wits about him, his defences. He's just going to have to nurse himself into this fight. Yeah, covering up, trying to get the jab going again. Gloves high. These hurtful looking punches from this wound up Armenian. That's what he has to be careful of, pulling away from punches. His hands are up in his chin and he's blocking the shots. He's obviously lost the opening round, so it's just a case of getting there to the bell and your head cleared and whatever plan B was going to be. But we knew this was going to be tough for him. Backpedaling, Scott Lawton. Done well just to stay in there, throws an uppercut. Body shot from Kirikosian. And a left hook, and Lawton wobbled again at the bell. Couldn't have had a worse start. Right, he took his wrist. 
Right. Big breaths. That's it. Get your hands down by your sides. Let's get your head clear. Yeah, yeah you listen to what I'm saying. Don't wait. Yeah. What a beautiful punch, and it's the speed of the shot. I mean, Lawton did not make that same mistake again. He was forced to box defensively, but he reached with a punch, hung his chin in the air, and the speed of the shot from Kira Caution, plus the power, caught him full in the face. If that had been on the point of the chin, that could have been a finisher. But to his credit, he senses he's got his senses about him. He boxed well defensively for the rest of the round, didn't offer too much Thomas target again until the very seconds. end of the round. Then he took a clean left hook. It's when he's throwing punches of his own that he's very vulnerable. Seconds out. Is that minute long two. enough? That left hook on the bell. Days Lawton again gets a right hand in to start. Needs confidence. Well, he looked a bit nervous as he came to the ring. Scott Lawton. Really is a huge goal to be mixing it with a former European champion. And of course, is very dangerous, especially early in a fight. Kira Caution forced him onto the defensive for the rest of the round after the knockdown when he'd be better just drawing some punches from him. When Lawton's tightened up, his hands up at his chin, he's not offering any target. But Kira Caution is so experienced and he has so much time on his hands. They've been working on that uppercut in the gym. Scott Lawton, who's been training and sparring alongside Sergei Yuliakevich who gave Kira Kossian a boxing lesson. So he might have given him a few tips, but is Lawton good enough to pull this off? Kira Kossian just maybe too intent in the knockout, and he knows he has the power to achieve that, and he looked very arrogant as he walked back to his corner at the end of the opening round, so maybe too much confidence, he's not landing any punches in this round yet. But the trouble is, he, he just looks like the boss. Walking forward. Can be crude at times, Kirikossian. Not the quickest, but those heavy hands. Lawton's doing well defensively. Yeah, Kirikossian's showing the little feint before he goes to work now, trying to open him up. He's not blasting through the defences now. He's trying to open him up using a bit more technique now. One other problem for Lawton is the lack of power himself. Only six knockouts in his 27 wins. Left hook again, caught him cleanly. He's having to hold here, he's grabbing for dear life up close. He just can't match the power of Kira Caution. Kira Caution can walk through what Lawton's got. And you always have problems when that's the case. With a tall, upright stance of Lawton. Seems to be made for these big hooks. There's another left from Kirikossian. Tries to work the body in a left hand. Clever that was from the Armenian. And Lawton in trouble in the neutral corner. Can he get out of there? It's brave from the popular Stoke man. But he's out of his depth and a left hand. Referee's going to step in. He gives him a standing count, Jim. Well, they, they, they have standing counts in Europe. He's gone. Look at his legs. He's gone. He can't, he can't allow him to continue. It's going to be serious. Now. The bell's wrong. Thank heavens for that. The Danish referee, Soren Saugman, was due to let him go on there when he looked absolutely out. 